one coming at you here. Um, if you think that beef's expensive now, well, just wait a little while. I believe it's going to get way more expensive. Um, EU ends beef trade war with North America. They have been uh, not buying our beef because they don't like the hormones we've been pumping into these these animals. And this doesn't just concern beef. I mean, it goes to milk, to everything, you know. <clears throat> but uh, it's voted in favor of ending a decades-old trade war over beef and import from North America, uh, United States and Canada, basically. Imports will rise, but the EU will maintain its ban on hormone-treated meat. We're going to get the brunt of that one. We're going to get all the crap. They'll get all the good stuff. The European Parliament on Wednesday voted in favor of increasing imports of high-quality beef from the United States and Canada in a move to that uh, in a move that aimed to end one of the oldest trade wars between Europe and North America. Uh, the war interrupted in 1988 when the EU banned imports of beef products from animals that had been treated with growth hormones. 1988. Um, this is why you see our children getting uh, mature at such a younger age, I believe, personally. Um, you could probably do some studies on it. I'm sure there is studies on it done. And you'll find this is a fact. I've seen hormone-treated uh, poultry before. And, you know, they give them growth hormones. They can't even stand up on their own. They're so heavy with meat, with breast meat. Um, in late retaliatory takeover, taken with the backing of the World Trade Organization, the U.S. and Canada limited duty-free imports of a variety of European products ranging from chocolate to cheese and mustard. Wednesday's deal foresees rising the volume of conventional beef imports to North from North America from 20,000 tons to 48,000 tons, more than doubled. While the European ban on hormone-treated meat is to remain in place, like I said, we're going to have to eat crow, and they're going to eat good steak. Better safe than sorry. The EU just uh, keeps justifying its ban on the basis of scientific evidence which it says identifies a number of health risks for people consuming hormone-treated beef. The United States and Canada have always rejected such evidence as unconvincing. Yeah, well, the EU is pretty powerful, and I'm sure they don't want bad food, just like they don't want... Um, they, you know, they don't want genetically modified foods either. They want all the good stuff. Anyway, thought this was an interesting read. Thought I'd share it with you. Hope everyone's well. God bless. Good luck to us all. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out. Oh, and uh, when you go to the grocery store next time, check out the prices and, and note it and see how much they go up. I guarantee it's going to go up big time. Over and out.